All right, this time, day two, it is shop car Mustang versus shop car Camaro. <laughs> Driven by two of the fastest TCI drivers, Efren Diaz and myself. This is for uh, shop bragging rights, right? Probably. Sal, for the me general. It's more fun. <laughs> well, yeah, for you and I, it is awesome. Uh, you know, Sal is a diehard Chevy guy, and Ed is a diehard Ford guy. So, yes. this basically means bragging rights until the next uh, event. Yes. He's on camera. Here's yeah. The water from yesterday. All right. <laughs> it's important to stay hydrated, uh, which I need to do a better job of today. But all right, so what's your strategy going into this, Efren? I don't have any. I'm just going to get in and drive. Stay loose and drive. Ouch, Melina. How's he running again? He must have got a rerun. That's it. All right. Uh, yeah, that's about my strategy, too, until we get the first look at the course. And I'm not sure. I rode with uh, Jason and then uh, Cameron. Right. And that might have been a mistake, dude. Because. They drove very differently than I planned to drive the course. And it's kind of messing with my head a little bit, like especially Tom. He like, here's the thing, Tom, if you're watching this, I'm never giving you advice again because the last time I gave you advice, you never let me live it down. <laughs> but he's breaking in spots I don't think he should break and the car is amazing, dude. Through the slalom, like it look ridiculous uh, going through there. I'm sitting there half the second half of the run going. How am I going to beat this? Like, how am I going to beat this? So. Yeah, it's just a different car. You were fast yesterday, man, so I just do the same thing. So were you. Yeah. In fun runs, he may have been a little faster, but uh, hey, like today... Sal, like Sal says, a blind scroll of find a nut. Yesterday may have been my nut, I don't know. Well, today, no excuses, you know? In competition... These cars are pretty evenly matched, so I think it comes down to the driver. Both TCI, both on the same tires. Yep. Yours is a little newer, but I don't think that's going to make the difference. I think the driver is going to make the difference today, so good luck. Good luck, man. We're going to do some work on the Mustang, so if you remember from the video yesterday, assuming that I have good footage of it, uh, had a little bit of oversteer. The shocks were fully loose, and so the shocks are too soft or too stiff, it can cause oversteer because either the car's rolling over too hard or you're getting more instantaneous weight transfer of the stiff shock. Well, we tried stiffening the shock, that was not good. Um, so we're back to really soft on the shocks, and now we're going to change the ride height. So we're going to lower the rear a little bit, try and get some of that rear grip. It was actually kind of high it wasn't even in the middle of the shock range as well above the shocks are pretty extended at ride height so that's what we're doing right now and uh, we'll see what happens we might experiment further depending on uh, how the car feels after this change also take a moment to admire the new young blood wheels 18 by 12 in the back 18 by 11 in the front we already got it covered in brake dust. And uh, Ed decided to buy a set of these because uh, sneak preview, I bought a set for the Mustang, for my Mustang. And I bought four 18 by 11s. They weighed like 17.8, 17.9 pounds each with the regular steel bolts. Well, Ed got his with um, titanium bolts. So they're probably like 17 and a half pounds a piece. Super lightweight wheel. Efren Diaz about to go out and take his first run in Project Red Dawn. There's probably more, like, there's probably more nerves on his shoulders than mine than normal just because we're both driving the shop car. As many times as we've driven TCI cars, this is the first time that we've both been in a TCI shop car at the same event, same time. So it's going to be fun. All right, first run. Let's see where he 
sets the bar. 48.0, oh, that is a very good uh, bar to set on the first lap. Nice job, everyone. Way to come out swinging, dude. Yeah, baby. Are you feeling good? Yeah, feeling good. That was setting the bar pretty well. All right, Efren out there working on lap number two, headed for the uh, final turn before the finish. It's really tight turn, so a lot of people struggling with that turn today. 47.82. I think he just took out Tom Cammon. Woo! Nice run, dude. Nice run. Yeah, he's happy. All right, you got it. Number one right now. I love this car, dude. <laughs> So you get a sell pole dancer and Hell work yeah. a deal? I'm campaigning. That man right here has to sell me this car. <laughs> <laughs> Ran over here after Efren's last run to get ready because I run right after him. Um, but yeah, I think, what was it, a 47, seven or eight? It's the time to beat right now. So that's a very fast time. He's leading an entire class of muscle group at the moment, like 40 cars. So let's go see if we can catch him. say you're a fan of the uh, Falcon 660? Yes. <laughs> Dude, nice run out earlier. 47.7, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was throwing the car. The car was gripping. Uh, I trusted the tires and uh, it rewarded me. Um, I didn't do as good on that hairpin turn as you did. I, I tried to take it tight, but I just get in a little overzealous, too much speed, and then I, I take it tight, but then it, it kind of freaks me out. But you, you do that turn like, like textbook. Well, I saw take that turn your third lap and they were way off yeah. that killed you you probably would have had another 47 except for that turn yeah but the 47 7 i still i still was out yeah but uh but it was right. a good run i mean nice dude nice. the tires are driven good um the temp um coming from rivals you know i i what i'm never concerned about keeping the tires cool right this time i'm like check the tires <laughs> <laughs> spray 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 yeah but they were good i mean I got rewarded. Nice, nice. So we're in the 47s. Heck yeah, Mark's dude. Enemies. Team Arch Enemies all within like a tenth right now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, you got one more, right? Yeah. All right, I'll be watching. All right, here's the uh, Nemesis Corvette.
All right, here comes Tom looking way faster than the first run of the session. And he is 47.63. That's enough to bump him over me. I think I'm a 47.65. So, nice job, Mr. Kamen. Diaz delivered a 47-1, so he took out Tom Cameron in the vet. Now it's whether or not I can take him out. So how do we stack up right now? So Efren just ran a 47-1, Cameron is at a 47-2, and I am currently at a 47-5. One, two, and a five. So I need basically half a second. Efren's 
376 for first laps. Woo. I might be feeling the pressure a little bit. Nick Relampagos, Efren Diaz. Efren, I just have one question for you. Yeah? How's it feel to win? Dude, <laughs> pro class is the hardest freaking thing to win at an MCA. And to beat you and Cayman and all these other knuckleheads, holy nice shit. Best job, victory dude. yet. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. What do you think, Nick? I think I did good. What do you think of your boy? <laughs> what do you think of your boy, F? No, it was awesome. It was awesome. Seen uh, both of you guys race and like try to beat each other. Yeah, we I mean, honestly, I would never have predicted that it would be this tight amongst this many people. It was so like crazy tight. It was crazy tight between you and me basically all day. It was crazy tight with Cameron, yep. and then Nick jumped in the mix later in the day, and the four of us were basically running away from the rest of the group. And we so. switched positions every freaking run. Yeah. That was nuts. Tom jumped from oh, third all that, the Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought you, I was thinking, yeah, I still yeah. think yeah. I did good, though. And he did, well, he did. <laughs> you made pro. Nick. You're welcome to the you pro You did class. good. Welcome to the pro class. Yeah, you finally. killed it on those new tires. Yep. I yep. regret ever telling you you should get involved with Falcon because now you're kicking <laughs> ass. I agree, and he had Falcon royalty with him today. I, yeah. haven't, even, I haven't even got John. Do you, did you feel a little yet. weight on the shoulder there when he got in your car? No, not really. <laughs> not really. It was, no, I, uh, the weight on my shoulders was uh, just, there wasn't, because the car, the tires stuck, stuck really good. The car was set up from yesterday. And I left everything alone, as you know. What a miracle so, that was, right? I know. Yeah, How the heck did somebody hey, convince I told him, him not I told to him touch last the night, car? I'm, I'm going to leave the car alone. Right? Chad always says, leave the car alone. Well, I think it worked out good for you yeah, today. Yep. All right, so congrats to Mr. Diaz on the first ever shop car battle. Yeah. I'm going to close out this video with just one word. Rematch! I think I did good. Yeah, I still yeah. think yeah. I did good though. And he did. Well, he did. <laughs> you made 